On this episode of RC Kicks, we're saying goodbye to the Traxxas Hoss and also the Hubayo Hyper VS. They're off, but something new's coming, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, well, we've got something a bit different for you. I'm saying goodbye to the Traxxas Hoss and the Hobayo Hyper VS. I'm trading them as a bundle deal for another RC, but you're gonna have to hold on to find out what it is. I'm gonna meet a lovely guy called Steve Lloyd. So he, we, we're quite far apart, so we're gonna drive and meet in the middle. So it's a good hour and 50 minutes each, but hopefully we're gonna meet up, do an exchange, and then He'll be happy with his new stuff and I'll be happy with my new car too, which I'm going to show you in this video, so stay tuned. Right, it's all packed up, got to load it in the car and off we go. Rock and roll. on an RC adventure. Rebecca's chauffeuring this morning. about 200. The School of Finance did you study? It's a deal. It's a steal. It's sale of the fucking century. In fact, fuck it Nick, I think I'll keep it. It's here! Just about got it into the studio and uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a bigger studio. This thing is monstrous. Look at the size of the box. <laughs> I haven't actually seen one of these in real life until I got this one today. And uh, yeah, it's pretty big to say the least. It is ginormous. Now this is not brand new. This is second hand. They are very expensive. These are so I'm uh, chuffed to finally get one. I've wanted one for a long time, mainly for me, really. Uh, there's so much content on YouTube for this car, truck, tank thing. You want to call it <laughs> monster truck. Um, that, but really I wanted one for myself because I live in the countryside with the fields and this is perfect for that. Um, but being that they are quite an expensive purchase, um, I could do a lot more uh, different content for the same amount of money, but I managed to get a swap, so uh, it didn't actually cost me anything to swap them over, but it's gonna cost me on batteries. Oh my gosh, I looked up the batteries. Now, there is uh, one thing that's broken on this, and that's the steering horn. The steering horn is rounded off, so I've placed an order for one, and then I'll have to dismount the front and change that. It's had a few upgrades on it. It's got the upgraded servo in it, and it's got some shock guards, and a few little bits and pieces added, and this top plate, apparently. Um, I don't plan on bashing this crazy hard, but we'll definitely take it out for a bit of a spin. Um, but I have no batteries and no steering, so I need to order the batteries as well. So unfortunately, we can't take it out for a drive today, but uh, I thought it'd be good to show you that I've actually got one. And for those people that are Tamiya fans and stuff like that, that probably have never seen one of these, it's, it's a bit big. <laughs> But there we go. So in the future episode, I'll get it up and running, get it fixed, and then maybe we'll do some upgrades on it as well and take it for a bit of a bash. So I'm looking forward to getting this running, but I need the batteries and that's next on the uh, 
on the list. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. And uh, now I need to find a place to put it. No. <laughs>